hey guys good morning my name is roxy for those of you who are new let me just introduce myself <laughs> um this morning i'm going to the gym i just came out of the shower so i'm super ashy oh, no. <laughs> guys this is not even ashy this is like let me show you I just ran my, ran my hand under the water and it's still white so it's like i don't know if it's like residue or anyway so the soap that i used was the Pierce, you know Pierce soap? Pierce soap, so it makes your skin like squeaky clean, super dry. So this is deeper than dry, this is like something else. Good morning, hope you guys are having a blessed day. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock and today's a gym day for me, I'm going to the gym. My hair is like damp, I didn't get my hair wet. But when I go to the gym, I don't know about you guys, you guys that have pixie cuts, and those of you who work out at the same time, I don't know how you guys manage your hair at the gym, but when I go to the gym, the only thing I can really do is put on a ball cap, put on a hat, and just cover it up and deal with it when I come back home. I'm not even gonna attempt to try to keep anything neat and kept together. I'm just gonna have to manage it the best way I can when I come back, and I'm, that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Especially because I'm not gonna be washing it again in order to wrap it because i i washed my hair um i want to say two three days ago i don't need to be washing it so often i'm not going anywhere significant the next couple of days therefore in my opinion it's not necessary to go wash my hair again like no guys this is on empty i need to get another one sani beauty put me on this body cream it smells really good I'm just giving it like a little comb. I still want to keep the direction. It doesn't need to be all wild underneath the cap. <laughs> doesn't have to be super wild. I mean, I could go as far as like wearing like a bandana. Um, sometimes I do wear a do rag simply because like I'm at the gym. I don't really, not really trying to be super cute, you know. Could be. I could go that route, but I don't. Um, yeah, I just don't care. <laughs> But I'm going to be wearing a hat. Oops. So definitely like a little sporty look. Okay. I need to moisturize my face though. My face is feeling super dry. All right, my friends, so this is it. I actually need to throw a t-shirt over this. I don't even know why I put on my hat first. Well, I got to throw a t-shirt over this and I'm wearing some shorts. I'm gonna put some jogging pants over. And then we gotta go, I'm gonna go work out. I think today's arm day. Let me know if you guys work out with a pixie and what you guys do to your hair while you're working out.
hey guys so it's about 11 o'clock at night so this is like my first time taking my hat off since i put it back on after the gym <laughs> so my hair is looking like this terrible like honestly i'm not gonna do a dry mold tonight because i'm going to bed the only reason i would do that is if i had somewhere to go early in the morning but i don't um I am going to just wrap my hair and put on my satin scarf. When I put on my satin scarf, that helps so that in the morning my hair doesn't look like this and then I have a ton of work to do. I'm gonna put my wrap on this side so that I can flip it over tomorrow after my dry wrap. I know it looks crazy right now, but trust me, there's a reason for this. So I have my satin scarf here. I'm just gonna put this on. And in the morning time, I have to bring the kids to school. And I don't really like to wear a satin scarf to drop them at school. I'd rather just have my hair. So at least my hair will be still tamed. <clears throat> so my goal is to try to keep this on for the night. Honestly, it does slip and slide. And I end up having to like retie it in the night. Um, and sometimes I don't. It really depends. <clears throat> hey guys, so it's the next morning. I started um, dry wrapping, dry molding my hair. Dry molding. And I forgot to turn on the camera. So my hair looks like this. It's really the back and the sides that need to dry mold. Um, I have a client coming in a few maybe like 20 minutes so i'm gonna be wearing my wrap strip while i do their hair which is fine and as you guys know i went to the gym yesterday um i don't want i'm not trying to wash my hair and have it drenched from the jump it's not it's not necessary so i'm just gonna wrap it like this But so it doesn't look so indented. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm just gonna let it air dry while I do my clients here. I have two clients this morning. I'll be done, you know, um, in the afternoon. I'm just gonna come back and just quickly just style it a little bit, and that's gonna be my hairstyle. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a few. It's gonna be looking like this while I'm working. Hey guys, I had to include that mini intermission. If you guys know me or if you guys didn't know, I love Whitney Houston. I love her music. I love that era. Her music just speaks to me. So I just needed some Whitney, some Whitney in my day. Anyway, I'm curling my hair using the red um, flat iron. I'm going to leave the details to that flat iron below. I think it's such a good flat iron for pixie cuts because it's like long enough. Not long enough. It's wide enough for the top and the back um so it's a good in between flat iron like the one inch is too big so i don't know i just think this one is perfect is a perfect size i believe it's a half inch i could be wrong but i'm gonna leave that below for you guys so i'm starting at the sides to style my hair and then i'm working my way to the back and then i'll finally get to the top um in my hair i did I think I believe I included not included but I put on the shine serum from dark and lovely I coated my hair with that it's not necessarily a heat protector it um, I believe it's more like a finishing product but that's what I have my hands on at, like in my bathroom right now that's the only type of heat protector I have that's what I'm 
that's something I need to go and find at the hair store. Just a heat protector that I want to use. Um, so the shine gloss serum it still creates a barrier between my hair and the flat iron hopefully it's protecting it to some extent um so yeah that's what i was using um i'm just styling my hair as you guys know i did not wash my hair since i went to the gym i just dry tied it down the night before and dry molded it in order to prevent myself from having to wash it again in order to get it flat so this method is what works best for me um if my hair was a little bit shorter um or maybe a lot shorter i'd be able to wash it every day without it being a hassle because it would just dry a lot faster or maybe wash it more often it's kind of it's kind of annoying having to wash and have and having to walk around the house with your hair wet or having to spend the extra 30 minutes to sit under the dryer every day in order to get your hair dry um so to avoid that i just make sure i keep my hair wrapped with a satin scarf keep it tied down when you, especially when you go to sleep keep it tied down so that you have minimal work to do the next day you don't have a bunch of styling to do a bunch of wet wraps to you know to dry you don't have to do all of that just keep it tied down um and keep your hair tamed so after styling my hair with the curling iron i'm still continue continuing with the flip over method even when my hair is curled so you're gonna see that i'm just gonna take everything and just comb it over to the other side especially because the side that it is parted on right now that's my weaker side and when i mean weak i mean i have a thinning a thinner side um of my head so i like to comb it over um, the stronger side over to the weaker side to kind of camouflage that and that is something that i am working on um, i'm working on it by taking hair vitamins um, drinking more water massaging my scalp and i have a lot more research to do um, when it comes to rejuvenating my scalp but i do see some progress and improvement so i'm just finishing up my style with the shine gloss hair serum from dark and lovely and this is just me setting my hair. I'm not going anywhere today, guys. I, I'm just setting my hair so that um, if I need to pick up and go, I don't look crazy. I look cute in the house. I look styled. I look done. I don't have anywhere to go. And once I keep my, once I put my head tie on um, to go to bed and wake up the next day, I look like a decent human being. <laughs> now, this is a different process if I was going out somewhere to like a party where I'd be sweating. Having short hair is not low maintenance, especially when it's a little bit longer at the top. It's I, I believe it's a very high maintenance style. Even though it's short, it doesn't mean it's easier, guys. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. So pretty much this is it. Um, so I'll just be in the house like this, lounging, watching a movie, cleaning. If I need to go to Walmart real quick, this is how I look, pretty much. Um, I never know what the back looks like. It's so bad that I never really pay attention to the back. I always just hope that it looks decent, decent enough. But I'm definitely gonna get it cut down a lot shorter so that I can like have more confidence in what the back looks like. To conclude this video, this is the end of this video. I just wanted to show you guys how I maintain my hair while going to the gym. Um, if you found anything helpful in this video, let me know below. Also leave any tips that you might have for me, if you go to the gym with a pixie, any tips and tricks that you might have to preserve or maintain or upkeep your pixie cut while sweating and working out. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you guys don't know, I love short hair. I love maintaining short hair. I love sharing tips and tricks. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.